welcome everybody again in this video i'm going to talk about power virtual agent and how you can create your first part and you know to know about what you can do with the power virtual agent uh, right now there's a lot of updates happen around the power virtual agent where you can take your power virtual agent to microsoft teams and also power virtual agent brought to your microsoft sharepoint modern experience so i have a bunch of things to show you guys let me just go and start my demo so let's just start it. Uh, so I'm going to go and say Power Virtual Agent. So you can access your Power Virtual Agent uh, Studio as well as you know on the platform in uh, in web. So I just go and add my office account login, and in this uh, place when you land right, you can start your new bot and you can see the existing bot and you can make the changes and you can go to the analytics, the entities, the topic. So what you see here in the top right corner is your first experience where you can go and create your new bot. Since I have already my bot called my first bot, that's why you see over here. And what you see in the bottom, couple of documentation from Microsoft as well as the videos and the community and where you can submit your idea as well. So I do encourage you guys to go and watch this stuff out. This is so much useful. I did also watch it and then I come up with my own video. And what you see on the top, it's three important things, right? You How you can author your topics. And when you ask me topics, topics is nothing. Uh, the phrases, the dialogues that your bot will talk to, you know, the human. human. And they say, hi, hello, good morning. These are your questions that you expect from your human to start with a bot experience. And this is where you can author your, 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 your phrases, you know, your expected phrases and the topics. I'll cover that later. And then you have a publisher bot. So you can take it to Facebook, Teams and SharePoint. So I'm going to show you that as well. And the monitor performance, basically Microsoft built a top of the uh, uh, kind of a dashboard that you can take it to your you know communication team and you know your chart and you can see uh, what value your bot is adding it to the company so in the left hand side uh, maybe i'll go one by one so if you see the topic so topic is nothing uh, when you click on the topics it asks you to you can create a new topic and you can go to the suggested topic so what you see in the bottom a uh, couple of phrases the questions that i have already set up and microsoft did set up for you as well and you can turn on the status and on and off uh, if you don't like any of them so when you go to new topic here's a screen so i say hi and i say start point i would say this is there's a starting point right and i can use this hello good morning hey there so these are the phrases and uh, you can add up to five to ten phrases and then you go to say go to con con authoring canvas right so this is where you save this and uh, then what happen is in your existing topics this will get added and you can see here my topic called hello and the phrases so I'm going to go quickly to just delete it because I have already a one in my name uh, Let I can probably show you quickly over here. So first of all, let me go and delete both of them. You can make a copy, you can delete, you can, you know, uh, set it off. So there are a lot of operations that you can do over here. So why I delete it because there are already I have created or system has created for me where they can probably talk to you guys uh, to the to the human so when you say escalate so maybe you want to talk to an agent a person talk to someone call back so this is where uh, you expect human to escalate your questions or something right and in this video i have done a demonstration where you can see when you go to suggested topic I have a FAQ page from my company called Allegiant and I'm going to go and take this website as a reference to start with and I will click on suggested topic and I paste it over here and I still add and start so when you start these will come over here I can choose one of them to add it to my existing topic so I will know what is this all about hey where's my Legion corporate headquarters and you see the answers already coming 
from FAQ question if you see right so you can go and change this way you can go to add to topics and add it so once you add this to your topic I think this move from here to your topic and you can configure it maybe somebody wants to say headquarter right so maybe somebody wants to know may I know uh, company uh, company headquarters so the most important stuff here is to know how you can author your dialogues and how you can set up it correctly so this is where I would say the main time I have invested to add all my questions back from my FAQ page external to my you know own own own, own, own like topics so what you see here what is a legion headquarter and I have certain uh, uh, what do you call it phrases added on the onto this so when I go and reset right I can see it's working and I can go and, and search for my existing topic right so this topics comes with name user topic system topic so user topics are the one that we created system topic are the one that somebody else will create it for us right so you can see escalation so maybe I can just go and write it search it so you would see uh, there is some escalation topic but I don't know what's going on but let me go in the bottom I show you there are some system topics where it says escalate right and when you go over here it says go to authoring canvas so you may want to add certain text over here some of the description just go and hit this and it takes you to the canvas app I mean sorry canvas uh, where you can go and configure this message so you can say hey if you want to connect to now you can send query to hr at the rate company.com right so I can just say and I would say save it so what gonna happen I configured my questions from external website I will add it um, as a topic and now my bot is almost ready and this is a tiny place where you can go zoom in zoom out and you can know about the variables now what is next over here is the entity and entities are the one that is already created for some of them for you that's called pre-built and you can own uh, one entity that reduce your time to create the same questions and same stuff in in different bot right so you can use one of the existing entity so maybe an email right so I can go and set my email and says hey I'm expecting email to be in this format so that's why you see over here uh, yes I want to cancel it and if you go to email entity that has been created and it says hey if you're expecting users to write something this I will expect uh, this as our email address right so you can probably train it uh, the way you want it and when you go to analytics you see my analytics total session is 28 engagement ratio rate is 71 percent so this gives you a lot of other information around the customer satisfactions and sessions and billings all that stuff right and you can see which question been asked most in my bot this is about the analytics let me talk about a bit around the publish right so I go and publish to any of these channels so I can go and say channel and this is where I can say I want to take my bot to a website maybe a custom website and this gives you this iframe and I know developer loves iframe because this is something very very uh, crucial and important here to note that you can take your bot experience to SharePoint by copying this iframe and in my next video I'm gonna talk about how you take this one body bot that you just created to Microsoft Teams and SharePoint so this is about the custom website you can go and take it to the Microsoft Teams copy this ID start with your manifest in back in studio on teams and just start working on it and there's a nice article that you can go and talk about it learn how to set up Microsoft Teams channel so this is a link uh, that it opens for you so it's it's quite easy let me cover in my next video so let me go and show you one of the experience with the bot so I would say hi and this hi will actually show in the right side all your uh, questions and the answers so you see these are my, my 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 messages that I want my users to see when they say hi to me and I would say uh, may I my be company headquarters so I don't know if you have remember uh, when I was writing this I place it company headquarters as one of the phrase and it says Dublin Island right so this is what it is 
so it triggers an phrase and that phrase you have to set up correctly you know based on your based on your users recommendations uh, i'm expecting a headquarter right so check for headquarter as a name in one of my faq and you see there's a allegiant corporate headquarter in dublin island right and this is what you see over here dublin island yes that's nice i will go and say maybe uh, this is what you see about the phrases that you can go and add and if i don't like this answer i can go and escalate it every time and it may say hey do you want to talk to the agent or do you want to rephrase your question so this is the place where i really want you to probably go and look into it you can go and say uh, maybe try doing one more time or something right i go and check it and then it actually stores in a variable and that variables you can explore over here you see this is topic variables over here now when i expect maybe try i go and really go and just add a message when somebody say maybe try something so i go and trigger a flow in power automate i will call it end with survey i can go to add another topic and i can show a message uh, we will reach out to you drop an email here and that email i will take it to a variable i can go and make it a variable and probably go and assign or something so i will just probably cover a basic setup of how you can really go and work with this and you can go and save it you can refresh the content and right away go and start showing you so let me start with this again so i would say uh, headquarter right and says maybe i don't like this answer so i can go and say no and it gives me maybe maybe try doing one more time so when you click on that will reach to out you drop an email so it is just one sort of experience i'm saying to you and this is what i was telling you uh, about the variable so there are a lot of things that you can do over here you can trigger a flow as i said you can probably drop a text over there you can use your entity over here and entity is as simple that you can go and explore more but this is what i have uh, in this video so let's go and watch my next video where i'm going to cover how you take this particular bot to your microsoft teams and sharepoint experience and step by step uh, how you can configure it as well thank you